Hi and welcome to Jowd's Academy. Today's lesson is about derivative of natural logs. y equals ln x. To find a derivative of y equal to ln x would be y prime equals, we write 1 over x, and the derivative of x multiplies by the top, which would be 1. So if you can write it in simplest form, would be y prime equals 1 over x. And you're probably wondering, okay, so why is it the derivative of natural log y equals ln x is 1 over x. So let's prove this theory here. Now, the inverse of uh, natural logarithmic function all log or uh, logarithmic function is an exponential function. So let's convert y equals ln x in terms of uh, exponential function. So if we have uh, y equals ln x in order to convert it to the exponential function, we write it as e to the power of y equals e to the power of ln x. And now you should know that that e to the power of ln x is the same as x. It's one of the formulas that we learned back in the previous lessons. Because if you remember, e to the power of ln, just one, and the answer should be one. If you use your calculator, you should be able to use your calculator just by putting in e to the power of ln, just one, and the answer should equal to one. So if I have e to the power of ln x, the answer should be just an x. So now we can use this here, this equation to find y prime in order to prove why the derivative of ln x is one over x. So in order to find the derivative of e to the power of y equals x would be we finding the derivative of uh, y multiplying by the coefficient and then rewriting e to the power of y equals the derivative of x. So the derivative of y would be y prime. And we rewrite as e to the power of y because of the rules of uh, this type of exponential equation and equal to the derivative of x is 1. Now to get y prime by itself, so I'm going to push this more up. To get y prime by itself, we divide both sides by e to the power of y. So we have 1 over e to the power of y. Now we know from here, right there, that e to the power of y is x. So let's substitute for e to the power of y, x. So this would equal to y prime equal to 1 over x. And this is y, and this is the proof that y, the derivative of y equals ln x is 1 over x. So I'm just going to leave it right here. Hope you did understand to why the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And maybe you should be able to practice this a few times in order to apply it to any examples from your textbook. And then, please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any question or concern, leave it in the uh, comment box below, and I should be able to answer it as soon as I can. Other than that, wish you all the best, and good luck.